so i friend this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so here i will talk about the most important information that you need to know for all the student that is j mains 2022 that is percentile versus your category rank here i will talk about all category that is general ews obc sc st and for pwd i have already provided a separate video you can go to channel playlist that is there there is a playlist for pwd student separately so please don't try to comment that why you don't cover pwd i have already provided the pwd information in the pwd playlist please try to check that so here basically i will be considering all type of percentile range and what will be your corresponding category rank this is the very important information and as you all know this year the number of a student is surprisingly very low as compared to previous year of jmains examination in first attempt 7 lakh 69000 or 17000 a student have appeared and in uh, phase 2 it was expected that more number of a student will appear in the july attempt but It, surprisingly it is very less that is 6 like 29000 itself has been registered but i think only 5.5 or 5.6 like a student will appear in the examination so overall you can say that there will be around 8 or 8.2 like a student that is unique student because lots of a student registered for the first time uh, because as you also know there was a registration period extended for the uh, for the july attempt because a student were mailing nta are uh, regularly uh, for the registration process to open again so that's why the number of student a little bit increase that is unique a student but overall it is a very less as per the expectation it is only 6 lakh 29000 student uh, registered and i think uh, the appearing student will be around 5.5 or 5.6 lakh so after considering everything i am providing you the complete information so please try to watch the video till the end it takes lots of effort so please try to subscribe the channel and share this video to your friends so that more number of students will level to watch the video and i will also get some support from your side so please try to subscribe it's my request to you and very soon i will try to provide you the similar video for j advanced examination it is marks versus category rank so please try to watch the video till the end so let's get started for 99 Point nine plus percentile, your rank will be under eight hundred for general student for OBC under eighty, EWS under twenty, and SC ST. You will be getting even. You can get rank one also or under five that is short. And for ninety nine point eight, one point six thousand general rank that is CRL OBC two lakh, EWS forty five, SC ten, ST seven rank. And I am providing you the category rank. This is the unique video. No one will able to provide. this type of information or very few of people will able to provide you the category rank because i am guiding the student from last 3 4 years and i i am regularly checking what is the corresponding category rank based on a particular percentile so after analyzing everything and putting all those experience i am here to provide you the complete information so for 99.5 plus percentile your rank will be 4.1000 or less than that this is the upper limit you will be getting the better rank than this this is the worst case scenario so uh, don't uh, don't think that i will be getting this much rank uh, because the number of student is less as i have considered 8 to 8 8.2 uh, lakh student so it can be 8 lakh student 7.9 lakh student also so according to that you will be getting the less rank whatever i am providing you so this is the upper limit so for obc it is 600 for ews 1 uh, 150 and for sc 35 st 15 rank you will be getting and for 99 uh, plus percentile general rank 8.2000 obc 2000 ews 1000 For SC it is 100 and for ST it is 30 rank only or less than that. And for 98 it is 17,000 for general OBC 4,000 EWS 2.1,000 SC 250 ST 70 ranks. So one more thing I would like to inform you here that once you will get the result there after the counseling process will start and in that process I will be guiding you completely. There is a nominal charge once you register there after I will be guiding you completely. not only for jo science ssc counseling but for other entrance exam other counseling whatever you are doing up to your admission is done i will be guiding you so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box and the unique feature of my guidance is that i will be available for you all the time there will be no limit on number of call and uh, the duration time i uh, for which you can talk to me you can talk to me any time from 10 am up to midnight i will be available but more importantly I, uh, all your counseling process will be done under my guidance for everything whatever you are doing across india not only for j mains and j advance so hope you get my point so now now let's talk about 97 plus percentile for 97 crl rank will be uh, 25000 or less than that obc 6.4000 or less than that ews 3.5000 sc 400 st 100 and for 96 34000 crl uh, obc 9000 uh, ews 5000 and for sc it is 550 and for st it is 200 rank or less than that and for 95 plus percentile crl will be 42000 or less than that and for obc it is 11000 ews 6.6000 and for uh, and for sc it is 800 and for st it is 300 
वन सेकेंड आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज द अपर लिमिट यू विल बी गेटिंग अ लिटिल बिट बेटर रैंक देन वट एवर आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग यू सो दिस इज द दिस इज द एक्जैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू कैन टेक वंस यू विल गेट द रिजल्ट यू विल बी मोर हैपियर एंड ऑल्सो वन मोर टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू फॉर पी डब्ल्यू डी आई ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइड द इन्फॉर्मेशन सो इफ यू नो एनी पी डब्ल्यू डी स्टूडेंट प्लीज ट्राई टू सजेस्ट दैम माई पी डब्ल्यू डी प्ले लिस्ट इन द सेम चैनल दैट इज एप्लेबल सो नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फॉर नाइनटी थ्री इट इज फिफ्टी नाइन थाउजेंड सी आर एल सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड ओ बी सी नाइन पॉइंट वन थाउजेंड ई डब्ल्यू एस वन पॉइंट टू थाउजेंड एस सी एंड सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर एस टी नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फॉर नाइनटी परसेंट आई एटी टू थाउजेंड सी आर एल ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड ओ बी सी थर्टीन पॉइंट टू थाउजेंड ई डब्ल्यू एस टू थाउजेंड एस सी एंड वन थाउजेंड एस टी रैंक एंड फॉर एटी सेवन प्लस परसेंट आई वन पॉइंट वन लैक सी आर एल रैंक एंड एंड फॉर ओ बी सी इट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड फॉर ई डब्ल्यू एस सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड एंड फॉर एस सी टू पॉइंट सिक्स थाउजेंड एस टी वन पॉइंट फाइव थाउजेंड So one more thing, I would like to inform you that I have already provided the safe percentile for NIT, Triple IIT, GFPI College for top 10, NIT with CS top 11 to 20, lowest. Everything has been provided in the same channel. So please try to watch those videos so that you will be comfortable with uh, with uh, which type of college you are going to get this year uh, for your BTEC course. And also try to subscribe the channel at the same time. I am requesting you again and again because I am working day and night for the strength. Please try to support me as well so that I will get some support you from your side and I will continue to provide you all the update after your admission is done. And now if you talk about 84 plus percentile, 1.3 lakh, 37,000, 21.3,000, 3.4,000, 2,000. That is for general uh, OBC, EWS, SCST respectively. Now if you talk about for 80 plus percentile, 1.65 lakh for general OBC, 44,000, EWS, 26,000 for SC, 6,000 and ST, 3.1,000. For 75 plus 2.1 lakh for uh, CRL 53,000 OBC 31,000 EWS and for SC it is 8.5,000 ST 4,000. Now for 70 plus percentile 2.5 lakh uh, CRL 66,000 OBC 37,000 EWS 12,000 uh, SC rank and 6,000 it is ST rank. So now if we talk about 65, 2.9, 43, 45, 15 and 7 that is for general OBC EWS SC ST. And for 60 plus percentile, 3.3 lakh, uh, 80,000, 53,000, 19,000, and 8,000. That is for general OBC, EWS, SC, ST. And for uh, 50 plus, uh, 55 plus percentile, 3.7 lakh, that is CRL rank, 90,000, that is the OBC rank, 62,000, EWS, 23,000, SC, and 10,000, ST rank. And for 50 plus percentile, 4.1 lakh, that is CRL, 1.1 lakh. Uh, OBC 73,000, EWS 28,000, SC 12,000, ST rank. And for 45, it is 4.5 lakh, 1.3 lakh, 85,000, 34, and 14,000. That is for general OBC, EWS, SC, ST category rank respectively. So now if we talk about 40 plus percentile, 4.9 lakh, 1.5 lakh, 1 lakh, 40,000, 16,000. That is general OBC, EWS, SC, ST respectively. Now I will talk about the minimum percentile. For J advanced, that is minimum percentile that you need to have to be eligible for J advanced examination. As the number of strength decrease, so it will have the effect on cutoff percentile as well. But before going forward for this video, I would like to in inform you again that at, at the time of counseling process, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. There is a nominal charge for that. Once you register, I will be guiding you completely for all the counseling process, choice, filling, decision making, everything, so that you will be doing the counseling in a better manner and your our admission process will be done uh, smoothly and it is not only for JOSA and CSAP counseling but for other counseling, other interest exam as well, whatever you will do this year up, up to your final admission is done in the BTEC course. So hope you get my point. So if you want, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. So here is the cutoff percentile for general 86 to 88 percentile will be the cutoff for OBC 66 to 68, EWS 64 to 66, SC 44 to 46 and ST 33 to 35 percentile will be required. That is the minimum percentile that you need to have in order to be eligible for JE advanced examination and for PWD if you will get a one percentile only then you will be eligible for JE advanced. That is as simple as that. So hope you get this information very useful for you and uh, as the number of student decrease so it will have the effect on cutoff percentile also so that, uh, that I have included here. So hope you get the information very useful. So please try to subscribe this channel. It's my request to you. And thanks again for watching this video and please try to share this video to your friends so that they can also get this uh, get this information. Thank you.